Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make this cool bullet point listing animation. All right, so I had to do this for a client and she was showing how to do a kid's science experiment. And so she was listing out a bunch of ingredients. I took the ingredients and added more of a flair to it to make it more interesting. So this is what it looks like. All right, so that was playing on the screen while she was showing the ingredients, you know, showing the, the cup of vinegar, showing the baking soda, showing the spoon. This text, sound, image, animation was playing beside her as she was showing all this stuff. So it looked really cool on screen. So let me show you how to create one of these. You're going to need a couple of things. First, you're going to need the sounds. So the main sound that you're hearing is this kind of like, it's almost like bells kind of. And then you're going to need like a check mark or a check box or an X or whatever you're doing. However, it could be smiling faces if you wanted. But I liked this circular green check mark. So let me show you where I got this stuff. For the audio, I get my audio from Storyblocks. This is where I also get stock video, stock images. It's kind of like a one-stop shop. It is a paid subscription, but as a full-time YouTuber, I need access to this kind of stuff and I need access to good quality stuff. So I basically went into the sound effects and I found that sound. For the check mark, I got it from this website called Flat Icon. Now you can get the stuff for free. I do have a paid subscription. If you are doing it for free, you do need to give credit to the author. So if you have a free account and you download it, they'll let you know how to credit the person, the author, the creator of this. But again, we have a paid subscription, so we don't have to credit them. Once you have the digital assets, the image and the sounds, then you can start creating this. So you can see on the timeline, it looks like this, but I actually grouped it because there's many pieces going on. So if I click the plus sign and open it. This is what it actually looked like before I grouped everything. I had the text down here and then you can see it's kind of like kind of like a pyramid a little bit. And so I decided to put the text down here. And so when you're doing this exact style, you need to put out all the text first because you need to match up the check boxes to each text, to each line of text. So you need to make sure that the text is all ready to go. So make sure it's the font that you want, it's the size that you want, and it's in the placement that you want because you need to put these check boxes at the end of each line. And if you end up moving it all the time, if you, if you do this and then you place everything and then you're like, oh, I wanted it to be larger or I wanted the spacing different, then you're gonna have to remove everything and it's gonna be quite tedious because you're not only having to move the circular check mark, but you're gonna have to move the audio as well. So as I scroll through here, you can see it follows a similar format. So it's like, circular checkbox, and then the audio on top. And then a couple seconds later, the check mark again, then the audio. Then a couple seconds later, check mark audio. And as you can see, it goes, keeps going until it's down to the end, right? Which is this bottom one right here. So that's why it's very important to have your text ready to go before you start placing everything and make sure it's, it's where you want everything to be. Placing the check mark and the audio is going to depend on if there's any speaking in your video or not. So in my case, I actually did have a client speaking in the video. She was explaining each thing. So I had to match these lengths to how she was speaking. So I had to make sure that she said one cup of vinegar and then that would pop up. 
and then if she and then I had to wait until she would do the baking soda and so on and so on and so on. So I did match it to her speaking style, but if you know you don't have any speaking, you can place these however fast or however slow you want them. But you can see that it starts off long here and it goes the entire duration of the text and you just keep shortening it and shortening it and shortening it and shortening it and that's how it shows up how to pop up here. So it's a simple way to jazz up if you are listing something in a video. You know, if you're like top 10 ways to, to do this and then you're listing it all out, this makes it a little bit more interesting as it's on the screen. And then adding, you know, the actual visual effect of the check mark and then adding the actual audio it just adds to the whole viewing experience. If you like these kinds of videos, I have a nine plus hour 70 lecture Camtasia course. If you want to fast track your Camtasia learning, I highly recommend that you take this course. The link for that will be down in the description below. So that is how you make a really cool bullet point listing animation for your videos. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.